How's it going guys? It's Poetry Set and welcome back to another episode of the Ireland campaign in Europe Universalis 4, Luck of the Irish. Trying to form Ireland at least, but uh, yeah, where we last left off, we are uh, at peace, but we have about three years to figure out, you know, what the heck we're gonna do before England probably will declare war on us again. Like, I'm assuming they're gonna just declare war on us, like, right away. So we need to, like, ally someone or something. Like, we can't... Oh, what is this? Uh, message for the faithful. Peace, lose... Ooh, monthly war exhaustion. Clergy gains loyalty. How much points do we have? 80? I think I would like to keep our points. Let's do that. Gain loyal loyalty. That's pretty good, actually, though. We'll do that as well, actually. Hmm. I'm still pissed that Castile even didn't defend us in the first place. Like, come on, man. Not cool. Oh, Burgundy has uh, just integrated uh, Brabant, which is mm, pretty interesting. That means that Burgundy is about to probably do the same with the others, which means they're going to get pretty pretty beefy here in the, in the near future. I'm curious, if we broke our alliance with Austria and we hmm let's improve our relations with Burgundy I think they might actually ally us if we do everything right but we would have to break our alliance with Austria which is really dangerous and risky obviously meanwhile Denmark how you doing Denmark would you like to uh, to ally us sir you might, not the same religion, darn. Hmm. Oh, look at that. England actually, yeah, this is what I expected would happen. Uh, England just went reformed. That almost always happens. Quite interesting. Quite interesting indeed. Indeed. Um, hmm. All right, we're starting to make a little more money now. I will, can't do it, darn it. Hmm. Army maintenance, fleet maintenance. I think after this colony finishes, we might just like hold off for a bit on doing more. <sighs> How many points do we have? Okay, I think it's gonna be, let's go up to speed four here. I think it's gonna be okay to get another merchant. We might wanna save our military points. How many are you gonna want? Six? Probably have enough, but let's just wait for now. Um, we lost a claim on cork. Let's go and get like a... We already have global seller increase. An idea cost... Oh, I should have done the idea cost thing. Ah, that's okay. It's like, you know, 20 points or whatever. Production efficiency is good. Legitimacy wouldn't actually be that bad. We're losing legitimacy from our prestige. Prestige is coming up though. That would give us so much, so like 0.10 more. Let's just do the idea cost and do it now. Might as well. Yeah, it costs us 20 points to not do that ahead of time, but whatever. Let's save the points for now. Tax modifier coming up soon. We can get the tax modifier right now. Oh, gosh darn it. We got our bad ruler now too. Gosh darn it, man. Everything is just going wrong. Um, okay, as far as trade, what could we do here? We can't actually protect trade here? What? Probably because of, um... Probably... Oh, we have 100% legitimacy, though. Oh, okay, that's really good. That's actually really good. That means that we have... Yeah, I was gonna say. We should have a lot more uh, diplomatic reputation now, or at least a good chunk more. Yes, this is amazing, actually. Uh, that's actually something I didn't think about. That's actually a good... Uh, a, at least one positive that we can get from having that whole thing happen there. Okay, yeah, that's good. Please, uh, please ally me, Denmark. I would feel so much better about our situation if we had Denmark as an ally. Mm-hmm. Renewing loans, I know, I know. 
Hmm. The thing is, it, it probably wouldn't even help us that much, but it would... It would hopefully dissuade England from declaring on us as quickly as they would otherwise. Right, we're not going to be able to ally to the Ottomans. That was a pipe dream anyways. No big deal there, really. Let's just go ahead and uh, improve relations with Denmark a little more. Colonialism in freaking what? They're already colonizing? That's ridiculous. Normally, Norway takes a, a little bit longer than that. It's kind of crazy, actually. Hold on. Because Denmark themselves, yeah, they don't have it. That's actually really surprising to me. It's not even that out of the ordinary, necessarily. It's just that the fact that it's this early on surprises me a bit. Um... Hmm. Man. This has been a rough, rough campaign. Come on, I just need a diplomatic reputation guy. Come on, please. Just need one diplo rep guy. Okay, we repaid off a little bit of our loans. Actually, Burgundy, how are you looking? Still probably wouldn't ally us, even if we got rid of both of those big chunks, you know? Come on. Oh, they're so close. I right, just maintain relations. Oh, Placentia. Placentia became self-sustaining, which is really good for us. Um, okay, since that is the case, now I think what we're going to do is we're going to put our merchant here. Okay, and we're also going to go ahead and colonize in uh, Staticona, which I believe is like, this is like right where Quebec City is, right? I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and uh, do so. It's 10 development as well. If we do have to like completely run to the Americas, which I, if that happens, we're probably just gonna end the campaign. But you know, this would be a good place to have our capital, but we definitely would rather not do this. Hmm. Actually, we could maybe just, maybe we just shouldn't do that for a while. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, cancel, we're not colonizing yet. I really, we need to soon, but Let's maybe re repay some of our debt to society. <laughs> Not to society, but you know what I mean. Hmm. Unrest in Shetland. Why? Why? Oh, and it's gone. Shh. Okay. Not going to question it. Whatever. Let's also, uh, what we should do is just reinforce our army briefly. Get them reinforced all the way, and then we lower maintenance again after that. One more month. Yeah, wait one more, actually. New draperies, nice. There you go, and now we lower it again. When is tech time? Uh, do that. I don't care about England. I mean, I do care in that I don't want them to kill me, but, you know. Oh, we are so lucky. So, we can get a royal marriage with Denmark, and then we can ally them. That's really, really good. Uh... This is amazing, actually. Our truce with England ended. Oh, God. Our truce with England just ended. No, 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 I don't want achievements. I don't want achievements. I want to ally Denmark, please. The 18th of May. Just make it to the 18th of May. Yes. Oh, we've done it. Denmark is our ally. Thank goodness. We may have a chance at living yet. You heard me. The only problem is Sweden could try to rebel anyways. If Sweden does that, then England will support them and then we're gonna be in a whole other rough situation. We would probably just break the alliance 
I'm not too, you know, I'm not above doing that, but it would suck, that's for sure. Okay. Well, we're in a much better position now. Uh, also, I think we're probably just gonna go ahead and fire that dude now. Is there anything else we needed to, to have that guy for? Oh, Portugal got their land back and more. Wow, I'm actually surprised. I'm a little impressed, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I think this is all we can get for now. Denmark and Denmark and Austria alone, though. Those two give me, like, you know, just having Denmark on our side makes me feel much more comfortable about the situation, especially because of the whole naval factor, you know? If we... That was the main reason we lost that last war, is because we didn't have the Navy to fight England. If we had had the Navy, we would have been fine, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, English Brazil exists already. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Back up to speed four for a little bit. Not much else going on right now, for being honest. Mm-hmm. I'll do that. When can we ask for a contribution? 29. Uh, I don't want to lose money if I don't have to, but it looks like I kind of have to. Oh, we can invest in ideas. Soon we'll be able to get the next institution. It only costs 23. Now, when will it reach these? Pretty quickly. Yeah, it'll be here in uh, Sutherland pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, right in time for tech, actually, from fairly soon. I want France and England to go to war, though. That's one thing we need to happen if we want to have any chance. France needs to take their holdings. Take their cores. They haven't done it. They're slack. This has been, like, the most strong early game England and the weakest early game France that I've ever seen. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Hmm. Okay. What we should do at some point here is uh, cancel you from your mission. Take three of you. Bring you over here. Put you back on protecting trade. Take you three, and we need to get you a explorer. Austria is calling you in the Burgundian conquest of Elsace against Burgundy, Flanders, Holland, and Brittany. It's a defensive war. They're going to war with Elsace, so this is the emperor joining in a war. Which means they're also gonna probably, I mean, we should definitely, hmm. I feel like we should definitely join this war. Yeah, we should definitely join this. Oh my God, that's so many forts, wow. I'm not gonna help at all, but I'm gonna join it, you know? Might as well, oh God. Yeah, you might wanna remember that. Lost one ship, that's okay. Mmm, this actually... Hold on. You better not come and actually siege me. I'm gonna be so pissed if you come siege down my whole country. You have no idea what, how pissed I'm gonna be. You mother truckers. I right, hold on. This is actually a good chance to do that, though. And also, let's do that. We need to get our money up as much as is possible. I like how their navy immediately all groups up on me. No. Okay. Hmm. If you come and siege me, I'm gonna be freaking pissed, man. I'm gonna be so freaking pissed. I mean, I can't really help, even if I wanted to. Sorry. Hmm. This could mix up things in that England might declare on Burgundy or something, but Burgundy is pretty powerful right now. I mean, I don't even know if we're gonna win this. We probably will, but Burgundy is pretty strong, you know? They're pretty freaking strong. When is it gonna reach there? Pretty soon. When is tech time? Pretty soon. 
Okay, in relations with Austria are maxed out. Are right, so are the Denmark ones. I mean, honestly, uh, we can ignore. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and just lower our army maintenance to half. I don't care. We're probably not going to be attacked. Yeah, I know. Low maintenance. They're not going to come and attack me, though. Probably. <laughs> I'm risking my whole army on it, but, you know, whatever. Susquehannock is here now. Hello, how you doing there, Susquehannock? I don't normally see you around here. Hmm. I mean, actually, I do see you around there fairly often, but... It surprised me. I thought it was England for a second. I was about to freak out. I'm sorry, Burgundy. I can like literally do nothing, you know. Not much for me to for me to do. What else can we be doing right now? We're gonna ask for the contribution next year. Oh no! Don't cancel the subsidies. I need those. Darn it! Gosh darn it! Interest is gonna be killing us now. Uh, gain one thousand manpower. Do it. Uh, manpower is good. Yeah, it's good. Ah, we're gonna be losing so much money. All right, hold on. We're gonna go a little bit radical here, and uh, we have war taxes, and all of our fleets are mothballed, and our army maintenance is at zero, and we're still only making half a duck in a month. That's insane, man. We're just losing so much money, or you know, spending so much money on these loans that we're freaking having to pay off. Oh, Trier sent us a gift! It's the greatest gift of all time. The gift of life and hope. Nah, I'm just kidding. Screw that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hmm, getting close to tech time. Hmm. We're making all right money right now. No, England, I'm not gonna give you access. Why would I give you access? So many, like, you know, loans being renewed. There we go. Screw you, England. I'm gonna build a spy network in your country too, you know that? The Palatinate got pieced out on our side. That's not good. No! What? Flanders? You dare anger me, Flanders? You dare attack me? You dare. I can't reach him! I can't reach him! No. No. This is unacceptable. This is actually terrible. I'm just watching them. They're sieging down on my land! What the fudge? Austria, get me out of this war! I don't want to be in this war anymore. Oh my god. Oh my god. We could actually almost... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We could actually probably get access through England. If we suck up enough. You will actually all die. Britain, Brittany too? What? What the fuck? No, no, no. Oh god, I can't stop him. I can't stop him. What the heck, man? This is BS. I hate you. All of you. So much. You dicks. You dicks. We didn't lose any ships. Oh, I was gonna be livid. I was gonna be freaking livid if they do. Mother truckers. Oh, you guys have no idea the rage you have inspired within my countrymen. Please, get me out of this war. Get me out of this war. England! England! We can do it! That's right! We can do it! Screw you. 
Oh, they're going to Ayrshire. Okay, new plan. Oh, crap. New plan, run. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Did, oh, oh, Brittany got pieced out. Brittany got pieced out. Confirmed, Brittany got pieced out. Oh, you have no idea what you're in for now, buddy. You have no flipping clue. Oh, let's go, buddy. Let's go, Burgundy. You have enraged the beast, and the beast will consume your soul. <laughs> Maybe I'm, you know, a little over the top here, but, you know, I'm pretty pissed. Let's just say that. Okay, there we go. We got our country back. I'm a little pissed though. We still only have a 1%. We didn't actually fight any of I guess that makes sense. Hey, this gives us a chance to regroup though. Let's go ahead and do so. And. Army maintenance down. Woo, yeah. Cool, and also England, screw you. We need to end this episode here uh, in a second, but let's go ahead and get to tech time real quick. And then I think that'll be good. Okay. There we go, it is tech time. Because it is tech time, we will uh, go ahead and do this. There we go. Under our enlightened leadership, yeah. Uh, provincial trade power modifier, which is pretty good. Also, we're gonna go ahead and say, we're gonna take this tech. Actually, wait, 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 wait. hold on. If we have a 1,005, we could almost certainly take this. Yes, take that, and then take the tech. Yeah, of course, why wouldn't you do that? I'm, I was almost a dummy there. You know, a little bit of min-maxing like that can really go a long way. It's a con. Um, I'm not going to worry about it for the other stuff, though. Well, I don't know. For the expansion, we might... Nah, let's just... Well, yeah, let's do that. Why not? We get the national tax modifier, which is huge. We're going to have to wait a little longer to take the tech now, but that's okay. It'll be a little cheaper when we do get it, you know? Yep. That was good. Cool. How much money are you going to be making now? Any more? Is there going to be a notable, noticeable difference in our taxes? Yeah, yeah actually. Uh, yeah, that was good. Can't really complain too much, I suppose. We're trying to do the snowball effect, but it's not really working out so much, so well. Yo, I'm going to F up your fleet. I have determined that your fleet does not deserve to live. That's actually too risky. I can't do it. Who am I kidding? I can't do it. Hmm. England, I will destroy you. I don't care what it takes. I will destroy you. Oh, you are kidding me. England. Hey, England. Give me that access again. You mother truckers have no flipping idea what's coming for you. I can't attack you yet. You're lucky, son. You're lucky. He's gonna attack. You're gonna attack me. He's gonna attack me. If he wins this, I'm gonna be livid. Okay, I was gonna say we better win that. I don't. I know. I realize that it. You know, we have like you know a quarter morale, but. I, knew, I thought that one tick would be enough, and I was correct, but I'm glad we didn't attack them, that's for sure. Okay. Hopefully that'll give us, a uh, yeah, 2% participation now. Nice. Let's make it back over to here now. I'm actually pissed, though. <laughs> I'm actually not that pissed. This, uh, this has gone so far, uh, going pretty well so far, this recording session. Hmm. I hate that a lot. 
It's, it's one money thing after another, you know? It's terrible. I just need some money, man. Please get out of this war, Austria, so I can go back to protecting trade. Zealot. Okay, that's fine. I do think we're going to end this episode here, though. Thank you guys for watching. Please go and leave a like and subscribe for more. Uh, we're, when we come back, we'll be focusing on bringing ourselves out of, you know, economic turmoil. And if we can do that, we might be able to colonize and uh, give ourselves a good little chunk of land in the east coast of the Americas. Enough to maybe fuel our war against the English. Either way, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.